The first thing we need to do is to open the settings application and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find apps and click into that. From here you want to scroll down until you find the music app and once you find the music app you want to click into that. Now you want to scroll down slightly to the audio section and there are a couple of options we want to enable. The first option is a recommendation and that's Dolby Atmos so if we click into that. Here I recommend having it on automatic and if you stream music with AirPods that does support the Dolby Atmos format. Now in order to stream lossless audio you want to click into audio quality and then you want to make sure lossless audio has been toggled on at the top and then you'll get three options. Here you just want to choose which option you want to stream lossless audio for. So for example if we go into mobile data streaming, here you can select up to high res lossless. However it isn't recommended to use this as it consumes significantly more data than lossless and you'll also need a digital to analog converter to gain the full benefits of this format. So I recommend you just select lossless. Once you're ready you want to click on stream lossless and now this has been selected we can go ahead and select lossless for all of the other formats we want to use it for. So once we've done this you can exit out of the settings application and the next time you go to stream music you see this new tag underneath the timeline and if you select it here it's going to tell you what format you are streaming that song in. So for this example it's 24 bit and 48 kilohertz in lossless audio and it's also available in high res lossless if you want to listen to that as well. Just bear in mind that not all songs do support the same format. So for example, if I click on the lossless tag on this track, here it's going to be streaming in 16-bit, 44.1 kHz range, and it's not available in the high-res lossless format. If you have AirPods connected, you'll also be able to stream in the Dolby Atmos format, and it will show you that tag underneath the timeline here.